Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. I gotta confess guys, I absolutely love hearing the birds tweetering in the mornings. Absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, I gotta confess I am feeling all out of place right now. For those who are not too sure what was going on, I found out I lost my dad and it literally has knocked me for sick so I had to take, you know, a couple of weeks off of doing my vlogs. However guys, I do have content that was literally ready to be put onto my page and onto the channel but I just did not get a chance to uh, edit it. So. Let's do a little bit of a rewind here now, guys. Um, we had Valentine's Day, and me and Yvonne had a fantastic day, and it was absolutely so fantastic because this year was the first year that we were able to literally have it off and not have to worry about going to work or anything. So Yvonne bought me a Lego model, right? And I thought, you know what? I do a time lapse of me building it, right? So it, is, it was absolutely so much fun to build. It was only a small model, so it didn't take that long either. But anyway, guys, I'm about to head on into work now. So I'm going to leave you that video of me making that Lego model. Wow, guys, just look how blue that sky is absolutely awesome but anyways i hope you enjoyed watching that time lapse of me making that lego model i must admit it was fun to do but for now guys i believe it's time to get on that road and get the heck home Hey guys, we are now coming up to Globe Island in Rugeley and as you can see in the distance there is some traffic. We are actually got roadworks on the sandy lane for the brilliant time which causes a lot of problems on the road. The main reason being guys is because Sandy Lane is the A460 and is a main road that goes in and outside of Rugeley right and uh, I'd like to say one thing. This is very mild version to what I've been used to when living in Bristol. Well guys, as you clearly see for yourself, there is always a lot of traffic that literally piles up on that road. So if you can avoid going to these areas where there's roadworks going on, all the better. But if you can't avoid them, there's nothing else that you can do. You're just going to have to sit there and uh, listen to some music or turn off your music and listen to the wonderful sounds of nature around you. That's all you can do. You know, lovings, you having some loving girly. Ah, oh, guys, I literally got home, and being honest, I got off on a bit of a, you know, chillage start in a sense. I sat in the chair, and that's the worst thing you can do is sit down and start to relax. And I thought, no, come on, John, I need to crack on and do some stuff. Got upstairs, had a bath, came downstairs, um, sorted out some stuff on my PC, and then I've just been pretty much chilling here doing some Minecraft. Okay guys, I've just got myself up to this area here in the game, right? And the bit that you see in front of you, this area here that I'm circling, that's the area that I've got to get rid of. However, this area where I'm circling is the area that Yvonne is getting rid of. Well guys, the idea of what I'm doing is, I'm basically got to fill in all of this water here. So basically, all that water there guys is basically going to be literally filled in and I'm going to take the land right down because eventually this entire area here where that water line will be this area will be covered in water now the reason I'm doing that is I decided I wanted to make myself sort of a moat in a sense so I thought do you know what if you're going to do it you're just going to do it big and you know bold right so me and Yvonne is literally going around taking all of the crap out that we do not need anymore and then we're going to put water back into that area and what I'm hoping for guys is we're going to get some fish to spawn there and fingers crossed it'd be absolutely awesome if we have some dolphins 
dolphins. So eventually, guys, what I want to try and do is show you the entirety of this Minecraft. So what I decided to do is once I figure out how to, you know, share all my videos and how to record, you know, me and Yvonne talking and such, I'm going to be doing something like a John's Extra but mini series. So it'll be like a John's Extra Minecraft um part one you know minecraft part two you know that sort of thing because i like to include a bit of that into my content and show you guys so now guys it's that time to literally pay you know make sure everything's done now i have already written yvonne her notes so that's that done so now it's time to get my shoes on and just like that guys my shoes are now on time to get my coat now time to get my hat on grab me a monster Grab the recycling. That sun today, honestly, guys, is absolutely so bright. Oh my God, the sky today, guys, is literally been like, oh wow! It's see that cloud right behind me. It is literally the only cloud. But you can see there is some bits of clouds actually even though i've just noticed that but anyways it's now that time to go and pick up yvonne from work and to be truthfully honest i can't wait to get home and chill and carry on playing some minecraft and i am so looking forward to tomorrow guys honestly because me and yvonne's kind of made up this thing of minecraft monday and once we get all the boring crap out of the way with we literally spend, you know, maybe two to three hours. And we do have breaks in between. It's not solidly just like literally playing the game. It's, um, you know, play it for a bit, you know, and then take a break, have a drink, you know, have a chat, and then you get back onto it pretty much. But anyway, speaking of getting back onto things, it's time to hit that road again. Guys, I'm just going to have to pause the video here. I literally just witnessed two cars go through this red light here. I mean, like, come on, you know, the reason why it's red, it means you have to stay there. And it actually says, wait here until green light shows. I gotta confess guys, on my journey here, I was absolutely surprised of how many clouds there actually is. What I absolutely love though, to be honest, is the ratio of the blue sky to what the clouds are. But it is absolutely fantastic and I really did enjoy my journey to uh, Ruji Tesco's and uh, to be truthfully honest uh, the sun is that bright that I had no choice before leaving but to change my glasses absolutely fantastic day honestly for weather and to be truthfully honest it's not that cold um, and uh, wow fantastic but anyways i'm now here to play in the waiting game for yvonne and then uh, hopefully uh, get on home and uh, get on with some more of that minecraft but i'm about to head back to the car because i just had a little bit of a wander around looking at the sky and such and uh, i need to catch up with a bit of bakery story and then uh, hopefully by that time yvonne should be out from work all right guys uh, we've got yvonne now and we're about to head on home and to be truthfully honest i hope that that uh traffic on sandy lane isn't as bad as it was coming down fingers crossed eh keep fingers crossed so how has your shift been today really good really good went really quickly hey went really quickly that's great for me but anyways let's get on that road again
the weather today is a complete different contrast to what we had yesterday. I absolutely loved the amount of blue sky we were able to see and the different sort of shapes of the clouds. I just find that sort of very, very um, artistic, I suppose. But anyways, me and Yvonne are about to go and do our weekly shop. And to be truthful, honest, there you go. Hello. Little, little wave there. Hello. <laughs> but i got to be honest, I don't know about you, but I feel like this week it's just been so mentally draining with everything that's going on. That's I'd say yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's just everything. Exactly, <laughs> everything. And to be truthfully honest, when we've had a week like we've had this week, um, obviously, you know, still not too sure what's going on with Dad's funeral. Um, finding out um we've had some issues in the house, which you guys don't know about yet. So me and Yvonne, um, what was it, over a week ago, two weeks ago now? Yeah, found out that where the radiators in the house leaked. And it was only until uh, Yvonne went into the room and tell the guys what happened. Wet carpet. It was actually the Monday that we had, you know, all that bad weather or the... Uh, and he said snow then. <laughs> the wind, yeah. So it was all that wind on the Monday we had because mm. it started on was it Friday, Saturday. Yeah, really we did have a lot of wind, yeah, guys. We did. Really windy on the Monday because I thought, oh, OK, is there a leak? Is it the water coming from the ceiling? No, it's coming from the floor. So, yeah, it looks like it has been doing that for quite a amount of hours. So, See, lucky enough, guys, honestly, we don't know who put it down. But underneath the carpet, somebody puts down some lino. So, that actually stopped yeah. it coming through to downstairs. So, pretty much, it was a case of rip the carpet up sort of halfway, leave it propped up so it dries. And then, um, you know, fingers crossed, we were hoping it would be like eventually like dry out of the room. So, basically, let's just say um, on Monday the 20th, first of uh, February was not a very very good day for us um, first off I uh, woke up find out about the radiator secondly the fence panel with all that we we mentioned literally snapped and I watched it go so I've had to do a temporary fix on that and then after all that I uh, I've had a few missed calls from my brother and then I'm like I don't know what that's about me yeah uh, brother put some on Facebook saying me um dad's died basically and then I gave him a call find out well, what's going on what, what's this you know and such so yeah let's just say on that Monday it wasn't a very very good day so and they say these things happen in three that's very true that's very true but anyways we gotta go off and do our shopping now and uh we're hoping that these roadworks are not going to stop us there for that long. guys that wasn't too bad today considering what it was like yesterday that road was literally jam-packed anyways we are now here at tesco's to do our shopping and then we're going to head into town and uh, i can't wait to see what the brook looks like today see i have plans for the summer guys honestly i really want to get into this bit of the brook because if you just look at that there guys oh, how cool would it be to see how far we could get underneath that and walk in this bit of the brook going all the way down to there. So here we have the brook here. As you can see, it's flowing the water that way. But the actual brook flows from the Elmore Park, which is over in that direction. So it goes under all of this here and it goes flowing through this area. But how cool would it be to see how far I could get underneath this, up underneath all of that, to see if I could see some more of the brook, which nobody gets to see much of. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just gonna wait here for a bit, have a look around, you know, just take in the sights and wait for Yvonne to be done in uh, Nationwide. And then once that's done, we're going to head off to Iceland and do some bits and bobs around there. Finally, she is now done in Nationwide, guys. Lucky enough, I wasn't waiting there for that long, but I've got to confess, it is getting so much colder now. I don't know about you, do you feel colder it now? It is colder, yes. 
and we've got a little bit of a wind now it's coming from behind us so it's not making it that much more pleasant to be out to be honest but anyway guys we're just going to finish off do our bit of shopping and then um, we're going to get home catch up with some bits and bobs and such like that we've been desiring to get done and then we're going to have some minecraft money to which i am looking forward to don't know about you i am yes oh yes Oh yeah, bark it out there, baby. <laughs> Next week, guys, at the beginning of the vlog, I'm looking forward to showing you around a new area of a future adventure video to which I can't wait to get to the page and also to the channel. Unfortunately, it's where we're gonna have to love and leave you. So we both wanna say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to us. And always do your best. To stay positive and screw those negatives. Oh yeah, baby. Now we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.